family of birds known as the Estraldidae is a combination of many different genuses, and most importantly for Australians is the inclusion in this family of the grass finches. And the characteristics of the Estraldids is that they eat seed, have short legs and a boxy short bill. The red brow finch is found on the east coast of Australia. There are two subspecies. The red flash of this bird in the Australian bush is always a sight to see, and the species name is Neocmere temporalis, for it is red from the tip of the bill through the laws into the supercilium or eyebrow, running into the temporal region, hence the name temporalis, Neocmere, meaning a new phenomena, for it has a red tail. The Australian grass finches are very flock orientated, living in grassland areas, preferably with a little bit of shrubby content that provide protection from raptor predation. Proximity to water is also an essential for a grass dry seed eater, especially when in breeding mode, when the young birds are still learning to fly. And the red finches of Australia are grouped in the genus Neocmere. There are three other red finches in this genus, the plumhead finch, the star finch, and the crimson finch. However, the taxonomic terminology for finches is rather confusing. I will elaborate on this as we go through the video, examining the red brow finch in the wild. A detailed view of the red brow finch. Firstly, the red rump. Secondly, the red markings on the head, beginning at the bill. The red supercilium, or eyebrow, extends from the bill going through the laws right through to the temporal region, hence the name of this bird is temporalis. The male and the female are virtually isomorphic, but there may be subtle differences, mainly in the width of the supercilium. In the male, the supercilium tends to be a little bit more wider than that of the female. But this is very subtle, as you can see when you look at this mass of red brow finches with the odd double bar. The red brow finch has a little bit of black on the bill, a dorsal line going down the culmen, and also on the mandibular tip. And in an immature bird, it may be a little wider, for the juvenile birds have a largely black bill. Three of the four Neokmia have red bills. The exception is the plum head. And the plum head has marked sexual dimorphism, far more obvious than the subtle changes in the eyebrow of the red brow and the red coloration to the laws characteristic of all the Neokmia is absent in the plum heads. Other finches have red bills as well as the Neokmia, like the zebra finch. And look here at this watering point. There is another finch with a red bill. It has not only a red bill, but a red tail. This is a fire tail finch, in particular a diamond fire tail, belonging to the genus Stegonopleura or spotted side flank finches. But the Stegonopleura, though they have a red bill, they do not have any red on the laws. Instead, it is dark, like the plum head, so you can see the difficulties in classification of some of these red colored finches. Another red finch is the painted finch, belonging to the genus Emblema, but the maxillary portion of the bill is much darker the only finch with a very white iris. So again, in a different genus than our red brow finch. Immature red brow finches do not have the intensity of the red colour. Notice, as these young ones eat, they are eating on green seed, which seems to be more common with the immature birds. The mainstay diet for grass finches is seed, usually dried, like these dried seeds at the top of these mature grass heads. Most feeding of the grass finches, including the red brow, is done on the ground. When the grass is really dense and the seed heads dry, they will feed at the top of the grass, but usually they are found on the ground with the cedars blown, and the grass is thin enough for the birds to walk around and find the food. They will also feed off herbaceous plants.
Arboreal feeding is minimal. Terrestrial grass seed is their preferred food. The one exception is the she-oak when the pods are open and seed is available. I have never seen them eating any eucalypt seed. Grasshead seed is another food that they seem to nibble on. With all the dry seed, finches need plenty of water to help in the digestive process. So the best place to view red brow finches, and for that matter many finches, is where they drink, for they can be observed without the disturbance of the tall grass. And here at this watering point, we have two neokmere, the red brow, and a plumhead finch. Another pair of red brows with slight discrepancy in the thickness of the supercilium. Remember, the male supercilium is slightly thicker. And this is the case with the bird to the right. Apart from drinking at water points, the red brows bathe. They don't fly in like honey eaters from a high point, instead just stepping carefully into shallow water. Then with the flapping motion of the wings they have a good splash. Finches are diurnal. Daytime roosting often happens in the middle of the day. Most feeding is done over morning and evening. This finch is taking a fine stick into the nest and the nest is made of similar sorts of sticks. It is a covered nest with a side entrance. And on a hot day one of the pair will often stand outside the nest. Fledglings have a little bit of red on the tail, but are easily picked from the adult with the absence of red over the face. The bill is dark and the gape cream in colour. After fledging, there is minimal feeding to the young ones from the adults. Here now, an immature bird, and you can see the red colours are developing over the face and bill. One other thing that may happen with the red brow when they drink is that they may turn a little carnivorous, for they will look in the water. Things that are on the surface, like mosquito larvae, tadpoles, and other aquatic invertebrates, may be harvested. I have only observed this during summer periods when these birds are nesting. Whether it relates to that, or the fact that these invertebrates are only available in the water during the summer periods, I am uncertain. Well, this bird I thought was after tadpoles, for they were in the water, but it just decided to have a bath. Moving further north up to Townsville, you can see the birds here have more grey on the cheek. And if you go further north, beyond Mossman, up into the Cape York area, the birds there have a significant dark coloration to the rump. Now I mentioned the carnivorous nature of the red brow finch at water points, and here you can see these red brow finches fishing for tadpoles and mosquito larva from the surface of the water. If you would like to see more videos of birds in the wild, subscribe to this channel and you will get notification of our next release.